Uh, hi and welcome back to David Tom Creation's channel. Um, this week I am going to have a look at the Monologues Sound uh, Librarian app, which I kind of touched upon in uh, my overview video, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. So I have been doing some more patches, and uh, I also wanted to show you how uh, this works uh, as far as bringing in uh, other presets and uh, how to access those. Um, and I've been on to Korg um, as I've been trying to export my own presets, and apparently uh, this is not actually possible. Uh, the ones that you get on the Korg's website, you know, have been produced by Korg's himself, and apparently the monologue was never intended to be able to save your own presets. Um, and I was sent a supposed workaround, um, which was designed, uh, which apparently works on the mini log, um, and it, uh, Korg said that it should work on this, but uh, it doesn't. So I will, I will leave a link to what that is to download that PDF um, so that uh, you can have a go at it and somebody can prove me wrong and uh, and see if it works. Because, I mean, the, the first thing it says is to save um, a file, uh, which apparently is supposed to create some sort of zip file, uh, but it doesn't. So, uh, so I've, I've, I mean, if you go through the instructions, it just doesn't work. Um, so that's a bit of a pain because um, you, it means that I can't actually pass on any of these um, presets, which I was going to do on the store for free anyway. Um, yeah, so if somebody knows uh, how to do this, um, that has a, a monologue, then um, please let me know uh, because it is quite annoying. Because like I said, there's no export command. You can save, you can save av, as, and you can load programs, but you cannot, you can export Scala and import Scala, whatever the hell Scala is. And then you've got, uh, so anyway, I'll, I'll just go through these. So you've got um, your edit kind of copy, copy paste uh, clear uh, you've got you can either receive all from the monologue or you can write all to to the monologue um, and then you can see for a single program or write a single program and then the option is to open the preset window um, so I don't I can't remember I don't think I actually did this um, so you've got your factory preset bank if you ever want to um, reload those if you accidentally um, overwrite one or do something whatever you um, and then these are the these are the four freebies on Korg's website. So you've got um, bases. Uh, so if you want to sample one of these, you just um, you just click on it. You don't actually have to physically load it. So that is. Some of these. So they're all basses, you've got some kind of weird, just kind of noises. Um, and then you've got beats and loops. So you've got... Uh, kind of drum, some kind of drum sounds. Uh, and then you've got spectral logs. Uh, so these are quite good. Um, and uh, I've used some of these as the basis for um, creating some. Um, some of my uh, patches. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just run through some of the new ones and then what I'll do is I will um, start from scratch um, that from an internet and we're going to just show you how it works and how to save it um, and write it etc etc um, and rename it so uh, so we, I'd only done four <laughs> when I did the first video uh, uh, so a vacuum bomb decoder syntax and galactic so um, I've got another one here and the good thing about this is you can see exactly what it's made up of triangles uh, triangle waves and uh, the uh, slider assigned is pitch bend and the micro so I haven't changed any of the micro tuning. Uh, there is a micro tuning tab, uh, and there also is if you double click this, which I was kind of just clicking it, you've actually got to double click it, and then there's a whole list of 
uh, scales and then you've got user you, the user scales and user octaves there. The only problem is I don't really know what any of these are, um, apart from obviously these um, uh, kind of major minor scales and, and uh, Werkmeister and I have no idea what some of these major pens and minor pens I've, I recognise, but I don't know what any of these are. Um, so to be honest, I have just been leaving it on equal um, for all my presets as well. But I mean, you know, you can play around with it and see if it makes actually uh, much difference. Um, so this is Droid. Uh, and it's just set for the pitch man. And I've done some uh, sequences as well. Um, so when you've got this open, you can either just click on these uh, or you can use the program value. So uh it, it, so yeah you've got that option so like i said you don't have to double click you just click straight on them and uh, it'll load up um so this is fat pixel um and that is on the cutoff So, um, so that's quite cool, and that is a, that is two soul waves. And triple uh, X. Uh, that is pitch band. This has got motion sequencing in it as well, and uh, we'll have a look at doing that later on. Uh, we've got techno, which is a square and a saw, and it has the uh, res on the slider. So a good thing about applying the resonance of the cutoff to this is that you can you can use that and I find it easier than trying to do these together because there's not much in So I can just move the cutoff. Use that for the resonance. So anyway, gun chip is a square and a triangle, and it has this uh, slider on decay, and it's got the uh, trigger hold on it. which is quite a good one, I think. It was Saw Triangle and LFO. Uh, 
Uh, a nebula, which is two triangles and a resonance. Trash. Try Becca, uh, which has got the uh, VCO on the pitch for the slider. Uh, quite like that one. And uh, last but not least is Ultra, which is a square noise and the cutoff. So the cut's going to add in the noise. It's kind of a weird <laughs> so that is the um the presets um right so uh what we'll do is we will uh go to an unit um, and uh, that is your uh, in it, which is generally two soul waves and a pitch bend. And like I said, I did um, I did see if you there was a, a tip that if you press shift and play, it'll load the panel settings, and we can just see. So that is the actual panel settings as it. Um, so we'll just avoid that, but I'll just show you that tip again. All right, so we'll we'll go with that, and um, we'll leave it at two saws. We'll leave sync off. We'll uh, take the shape down. We'll take everything down, and just play around with it and see what we can get. We'll put that to saw as well. shape up on both of them and put the octave down uh, we've got them both what's It's 
not really do much on VCO2, is it? So that is a kind of starting point. Um, let's try. We'll the cut off one better. That's what we're for. Take the shape that one. So yeah, so we've got a kind of concept. Just the Take the drive up, I think. Um, right, so we're going to write this. So uh, I have got either, well, either uh, 98, 99, whatever I say. Right, so it says write to 86, so we don't want to do that. We want to write it to, what did I say, 90, we've got 989, uh, and then press. Right, so that is it um, uh, written to uh, this, just as I haven't renamed it or anything. Uh, uh, so uh, it is still just called and in it. Um, so what I can do is I can receive a, a single program. Uh, which it has done. Um, and if I double click that, we can rename it, uh, and uh, uh, oh right, I'm using fonts. Uh, I'm using my font names for, as you can <laughs> see. So let's see. Right. Uh, Saucer. Right, uh, and that's updated on the um, on the monologue. So what we can do is now we can. Um, go to edit mode and then we'll go to program edit uh, and then um, which one is it Th no. yeah so we'll change the slider assign to the resonance since we've not got any resonance on um, and then we've got portamento we've got to leave everything off that is the name uh, uh, initialize put no um, right, so we'll just change that and then we'll just write that and then it says write and then we go 
uh, right again. Right, so that's it written. So if I uh, receive single program, you can see in immediately that changing changes to uh, resonance. It is that quick. And you can see that is. Um, and like I said, we could change that to something else. And uh, so if I uh, if I wanted to, uh, you can then send this back uh, to the um, monologue as well. But generally, you are just uh, doing, doing saving to the monologue and then sending back to the um, librarian. And then we can... Um, so there's no motion sequencing, there's no slide, there's no sequencer, so we can have a go at um, playing the sequencer. So uh, if we go to, we can do it uh, in the step edit way. Uh, in fact, let's just take it off. Trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Right, so that is... Uh, Right, so uh, where's rest? So that is rest. So we'll put in so that's F2. If yeah, that uh, step, 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 A, and then right. Right, so we can put some, so I might put some slides in over here. Um, and then again, we can just write that. Uh, and that's it written, uh, that uh, is written into that preset. Right, and now we can do some uh, motion. So we'll need to figure out what we're going to do. So we'll play this, we'll turn it down a bit, take some of the drive down. And I figure this out. Uh, so. So that's not doing anything, so uh, let's try and bring in the... Uh, right, well we're trying to drive up. So that is, that's the drive recorded in, and then we could try, right, so. Right, we'll bring up the resonance. Right, so that's 
two lanes and then let's see so I'm going to muck about with the K Right, so we've got three lanes. So this is. So there you go, and then we'll just write that, and that's it. And then, like I said, we can uh, send that back to um, the uh, app. So, uh, like I said, we can call, and then we go back to init program, and then back to saucer. And you can see it has got everything stored. So how easy is that? I mean, it is really good. And the motion's recording and uh, just so easy. Um, well, that said, you've got four lanes. So if you want to um, get rid of that, uh, we go to Sequence Edit and uh, it shows you, so it will show you, I don't know if you can see this, it says Drive Resonance and Decay there. Um, so if I hit that, you can actually switch them off and on. So for instance, I could go back and switch uh, for instance, the drive off. So we'll switch the drive off. Um, uh, where is it? That one. Um, switch it off, or you can clear it altogether. So that switches it off, and this one actually feel that clear. So you can hit right, and that would clear that uh, completely. Um, so that like said, you can just go back in and individually switch these off or on. Um, and you just keep pressing to go down. Uh, so for instance we could switch the delay off as well uh, exit that and then so you can see that is just the, I mean you can still see they're there but they're they're not actually working uh, and then so we could switch uh, that back on so you can immediately hear that so you can hear them from that one, so we'll switch the middle one off. So we'll switch that one off, which was the resonance. Which, you know, yeah. right, and say we want to keep that, we just um, exit and then uh, write and write that again. So if you prefer that, and then just without resonance, and then you can always go back and switch it back on again. Or like I said, you can just clear it completely uh, and start again. And you can do the same with uh, with the sequence as well. Um, so that is uh, edit mode. Like I said, you've got your program mode, uh, your uh, sequence edit, and then the global edit, uh, which is all the kind of uh, settings for that. Um, and that again, you just press. So you've got your master time, you've got your metronome off on, uh, uh, sync in unit is eighth note, uh, MIDI channel one. Uh, you got parameter disp normal or all. Uh, you've got the battery types, battery type is alkaline. You can tell it it's got so because it will keep track of it'll give you a warning when the batteries are getting low, so you can tell what batteries are using. Um, you've got your user skills, 
uh, and all dump USB execute. Um, and that is, um, that is that. Um, so thanks for watching. And uh, that is just a kind of overview of uh, how this little app works. Um, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. You can't really do a huge amount with it. Um, it's not like the, you know, <laughs> Wave State app or whatever. Um, but like I said, you can just rename your... And like I said, it's really unfortunate that you can't export these. Um, but uh, like I said, if anybody figures it out, uh, let us know. Um, so thanks for watching and uh, I will see you next week. Bye for now.